When I first started practicing Hong Kong immigration, it became apparent to me that there was no easy way to describe the conditions that the immigration department apply to uh, any visa application, understanding that they've got certain requirements for approval and they're looking for uh, those things to be present. And when they look to look those things to be present, they have this, um, what I've couched as a test for an approval, where, for example, in the context of an employment visa, you need to show that you possess special skills, knowledge, and experience of value to and not readily available in Hong Kong. In all the circumstances, the employer is justified in engaging the services of an expatriate staff rather than the services of a local person. And that is the approvability test for an employment visa. On the other hand, if you are seeking to establish or join in a business in Hong Kong, the Immigration Department will look to see that you can positively uh, benefit Hong Kong in a number of uh, socio-economical economic ways. And they've then couched this um, essential test for approval, which is uh, you need to be able to show as a, an applicant for a business investment visa that you can make a substantial contribution to the economy of Hong Kong. So that's the approvability test and the trick for passing the approvability test in a business investment visa is to be able to dissect it and understand actually today what the requirements are for that. So it's that kind of approach to immigration parlance that I've been able to couch certain facets as, in this instance, approvability tests.